Once again, it's the political rare kid. Once again, I'm talking about dating. <laughs> I, I gotta stop. This, this is getting too crazy. Be glad when I find somebody so I can stop talking about it. But um, the, the thing that I was going to make a comment on, of course, I just posted a video in regards to uh, an exchange, uh, uh, a text exchange I had with a young female on a black dating platform. Of course, can't find black love on a black dating platform, so there's no hope for me. Um, but I digress. Let me stay on topic here. Um, what I want to talk about is playing games and who's actually playing them because on all of the women's profiles that I read and I actually had a great video that I had done it actually came into 11 parts it was an 11 part series where I was just reading all of the women's profiles that I've come in contact with and I've got to redo it because the video got lost well I accidentally deleted it permanently can't recover it so I can't show you guys the text, so I have to refilm the video all over again. And I'm definitely going to do that because it was at, it will actually show you the toxicity of women and their dating profiles. It is it is a must see. I promise you, it is a must see. But in this situation, I just want to talk about women's profiles. It's about playing games because on all of the women's profiles that I read and of course I have to read every woman's profile because women always say did you read my profile you ain't even read my profile and then you're going to catch hell because you didn't read her profile and trust me as a man who is average looking and I'm probably a little bit below average looking the way I'm striking out all over the place um, but as a man who's average looking and doesn't get that many hits I have to read all of the profiles because I have to come up with witty things to say to all of the women and be able to, you know, find something in there that connect it in, in order to be different and, other, and not just sending a, hey, how you doing message to her. I have to be able to tie that into her profile. So that's why I'm reading all of these profiles. And I have to swipe 50 to 60 times per day. I'm going through profiles like that per day. So I'm doing a lot of reading. But let me not hold this up. So most of women's profiles has a common theme. And I'm not going to say what one common theme is because I'm going to cover that when I do that big video, when I go through all of the profiles that I collected. Because I collected over 40 profiles that I want to read to you guys and so you guys can see what I go through. But the common thing that I want to talk about here is playing game. Of course, I'm in my 40s. Again, I say I'm in my early 40s. And these women that I'm looking at, they're in their late 30s to 50, 52. I think I'm going all the way up to 52. See, I told y'all, told y'all I'm ugly. I got to go out there, women who's all the way up to 52, just to get, you know, I got to spread my net out. So the women always say, I, I'm in my 40s. I don't have time to play games. If you in your 40s and 50s and playing games, men are still playing games. Every profile that women are complaining about, they don't have time for games. Men are playing too many games, whatever. I'm back on here because y'all playing too many games. But the problem I've run into is that the women play games. They play a lot of games. In my perspective, this is just my personal opinion. So let me give you the games that I come across or what I consider to be games. You have some women, they'll tell you, if you match with me or if you like me, if you don't respond within 24 hours, don't even bother to contact. You playing too many games. Okay. Well, when... I like a person and then they like me back. Obviously, these women have about 50 or 60 likes that they're dealing with. They're juggling a bunch of men because then they'll come to me. And once I like them and they like me, I'll send them a, hey, how you doing? Because again, like I told you, when you're not a handsome man, when you're an average looking man or even below average, possibly, you have to be proactive. So I don't have time to waste. So if a woman sends me a like and I send her a like, I'll probably wait maybe an hour, you know, because I'm not checking my feed. Well, I actually am checking my feed. It's a lot. Um, but, you know, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. And then, you know, if the, depending upon when the like comes in and I check it the next morning, but I immediately send a message like, hey, glad we, you know, connected. You know, I'm glad it's mutual. Hey, how you doing? And I send a little something. I send little messages. You know, and I try to take things to the next step to get to know people a little bit deeper. I send those messages. Women don't respond. 
So obviously, again, they're liking and then they're liking back, but then they're like, oh, okay, well, I like him, but he's not a priority like. He's number 25 out of 50. Or he's number 18 out of 47. I have no idea. But the thing is, y'all are playing games. If you have that many people that you're juggling, don't like me. Don't don't click on like on my profile and then not speak. Again, I'm do, pulling one of your moves. You guys say, you women say you want a guy that if, if you match, speak within 24 hours. Well, I've done so. Reciprocate. They don't do it. So that's one thing. Um, the other thing that kind of gets on my nerves, the game that I consider a game is, and it kind of go, goes into this one, it's when... When I send that message, they don't respond. And then about 40 days later, they'll reply back like, hey, how you doing? Like, I just sent the message yesterday. And then if I say, well, yeah, I'm, I'm then I, like sometimes because I'm not going to lie, I can be a smart ass, but I don't even think it's being smart. You know, I don't think there's anything wrong with me bringing it up because I like to talk about the elephant in the room. And I say, yeah, I'm doing well. I sent that message. But hey, I said, I'm a little confused. I, I would say something like, I'm, I'm well, but hey, I, I sent that message to you like 40 days ago. And then that's when they'll either say something nasty like you, you know, did, did you go or, you know, you angry, you know, then that's when you become an angry or you negative or you toxic or they'll say something negative and aggressive towards you and then they'll block you. Or they just don't reply back because I guess they don't like that you called them out on it. But it's just kind of like, wow, well, dang, you, you getting back to me 40 something days later. Obviously, you're playing games because you you went through. I was number 18 on the list and you went down to your list. One, two, three, four, five. You went through one through 17 and none of them worked out. So now you're going to engage with me 40 days later. So that's the second game. The other game is. You have a lot of women on their profiles, and, and especially in my age group, my age group, they'll say, I don't have time to be texting all day. If all you're going to do is text me all day, you know, I ain't got time for it. And I agree with you. I don't have time to be texting, too. I don't have time. I don't like working on a, a phone. key. I don't like texting, period, really, to be honest with you. My fingers are way too big for these dang on keyboards. Not like I'm fat, but it's just... It gets hard to try and send text messages when I can type 40 words a minute with 10 fingers, but then I can only use two on my phone. So I prefer to just talk. And then I don't want to talk all day long. We talking, we going to get to know each other a little bit, but I don't plan on being on this phone all night long. At some point in time, let's meet up. Let's have some meetups where we do things out in public. So when we match, the other problem that I'm having is matching and then the women will start talking. I'm talking back and forth and we're texting back and forth and it's going nice. Hi, you're funny. Okay, yeah, that's, you know, that's good. And we're having a good little tech conversation. And then I'll say, well, hey, you know, how about, and I'll say it just like this. I say, you know, I hope this isn't premature, but you know, um, if, you, if you feel comfortable exchanging phone numbers, um, you know, let's have a phone conversation. And I'll either put my phone number in there and then I'll say, you can either just text me and I'll give you a call or I'll ask for the phone number. Then once I do that, the women go away and they stop replying to me. And it's kind of like, wow, I mean, did I say something wrong? Did I ask too soon? So that's the other thing. And then the final thing that I can think of off the top of my head um, the one that, you know, well, I know that there's another one, but I, I'm, I'm kind of freestyling with this thing right now. Um, oh, yeah, the other thing, the other thing that I wanted to tell you about, this is the final thing that I can think of so far. It's, you know, women will say, you know, be witty. You know, I lose, I lose interest very fast. So if you, if you don't have anything witty to say or you don't have anything you know, don't be what you doing me all day long and blah, blah, blah. Be witty with what you say and, you know, come to me with some good lines and all this other stuff. So I'm like, wow, but how can you come up with some good lines via text? I'm telling you, is a, I'm a talker. I think like if, if I'm in a personal, if I'm in a one-to-one, -one, in a space in person, I could talk your head off all day long. I could talk your head off. I can't do that in text. Like, how do you be smooth in a text 
besides, you know, like it, you got to say, hey, how you doing? You know, my name is so and so, you know, boom, boom, boom. And then you can come up with some little, but at some point in time, I cannot go on and on and on and on and on. So it's sometimes some women, they don't want to exchange numbers too early because they're like, they're not that comfortable. They want to just keep going in text. But my thing is, well, what do I continue to say in text? Because conversation does not flow smoothly in text, especially when you get back certain responses from these women that are very short or it's not enough. They're not writing as much as you're writing. So, so those are also the things too. It's like, well, well, who's playing games here? Either we're going to talk on the phone or we're not. So, you know, those are the frustrating things when I say women playing games. You're playing a lot of games. You know, you want us to have pictures up. You don't have pictures up. Those are other games too. You know, you got a picture from your neck up. And then when I ask, hey, do you have any more pics? They go away. How am I supposed to like you? And I can't even see what you look like, really. I see your face. Your face is cute. I need to see, the, I need to see you, all of you. But once again, this is the Political Brown Kid and my dating woes. Um, please like and subscribe. Help keep me motivated to do this stuff. Cause, uh, and also, um, you know, if, if you know any friends um, that need to check out the channel, please definitely direct them over here because you know, I've had some good content, had some good awareness. I like to make content, but you know, I, I would hopefully want it to be engaging because um, again, like I say, this is what I have. You know, I have you guys. So until I find someone, this is what I'm going to keep doing. So this is the Political Brown Kid. I'm out of here.